Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. If you have watched the previous video that I posted on our channel, you know that I crashed this WL Toys V912 pretty bad outdoors. I'm going to put myself in the doghouse. I'm downgrading myself from large outdoor second or third helicopters to toy helicopters. And I'm going to punish by making a review of this Happy Cow Adelon toy helicopter that I got from Banggood. It was $15.99 and including shipping I paid a little over $18 shipped to my door. This is a two channel helicopter that has an infrared transmitter, infrared controller. So don't expect that you can buy this and fly outdoors. I do not recommend this to anybody who would like to seriously start in RC flying hobby, flying helicopters. This is more for kids, this is more for people to just try it out and having fun indoors. Outdoors, this will be affected by sun, sunlight, any daylight, because daylight has infrared and this uses the light between the transmitter and the helicopter to send the signals, the control signals. You may be able to fly it in the evening, at dusk, at night on a very, very calm weather, so then there is no wind. Let's open it up and see what is inside. Well, here it is folks, a very cute little coaxial helicopter with a fly bar and it is as I mentioned two channel, it is, it looks like a fish and they have two versions of this, this is the blue light blue version and there is another one that's yellow and orange and it is very small, I don't know if it's going to fly well but so far everything is good, it's a very basic package, it was packed well, there is no damage here is the USB charger, this goes to a USB adapter and then the other end goes directly to this little port over here. I'm assuming that it has a lithium polymer, very small lithium polymer battery inside. It's not removable so you have to charge it and you get one flight and then you have to charge it again. If, you t if I turn it on there is the residual battery, you can see the eyes are blinking so it is nice because you can fly it at, at, in the dark, it, it has two lights in the front. So you can actually orient it. I wish there will be also a light on the back like a red one so that when it's flying away from you can see which way it's going. I'm going to start the charging process. So I'll just connect this charger here and let's see the charger light did not come on. Let's connect it and see if it's going to come on. Yes, the charger light came on, so when it's uh, charging it's red, I'm assuming this is going to turn off once the charging is complete. What else do we have in the package? It is just like a five-fold manual, it's all in English, and I quickly looked through it, it is very comprehensive for such a simple toy helicopter, so it shows everything, even how to unscrew the back and put two triple A battery, so this takes two triple A batteries and the controller matches in color so that's great there's an on off button here and beyond that there is also this little trim so the right hand stick controls the rotation of the helicopter so when you push this right the helicopter rotates right and when you push this left the helicopter rotates left there is no forward or backward, so with these two channel helicopters they are always flying slowly forward, you cannot control that speed. And then you are just turning it around, and then with this one you are controlling the throttle, how much power you are applying to the rotor blades of the two coaxial rotors. And this is spring rolled probably as a precaution that the person doesn't bump it off and just goes crazy, so if you let go, it comes down and cuts down the power. It is a good feature for younger kids who may not have the reflex of just pulling the throttle back on, so if they let go, it will come down, cut the power to the rotor blades. And also there is a button here, it is active, so it's clicking, but in the manual it doesn't say what it is. It may be the lights, sometimes they put like another channel to turn on and off the lights, we will find out. And by the way, when you are flying an infrared controlled helicopter, 
There needs to be line of sight at all times. You cannot put anything between the helicopter and this red area of the transmitter because this is what is sending the light signals that you cannot see. Usually the camera may see it. While it's charging, I would like to show you what I meant with that infrared controller over here. And I'm just going to push the left stick up. Do you see those little LEDs start lighting and it's a certain pattern? And I increase it, you know, the, the pattern I think changes a little bit or as I decrease it. So this is how these infrared controllers send the signals, the control signals to the, to the helicopters, the infrared helicopters. They have to have a line of sight. There is a little sensor on the bottom over here. You can barely see it, probably this black little thing over here. This is the sensor. And they need to have line of sight. So if you have any obstacles, like maybe you are flying behind a chair, it is going to drop out of sky or it's going to go out of control depending how they designed it. Okay, so what else do we have? Again, very basic. Half set of spare rotor blades. I'm saying half set because one is clockwise spinning, the other one is counterclockwise spinning. So if you break both of these uh, upper rotor blades, then there's nothing you can do. So you have to you know, find spare parts and good luck finding spare parts for these kind of toy helicopters. But if you break one, you can replace one. If you break the bottom one, there's another one. So it is not full set, half set. And finally, there is also this little linkage between the flyboard and the top rotor blade, this head, that keeps the helicopter stable when it gets uh, just bumped up by its own airstream, for example. This will bring it to level position. This is what these flybars do. They try to keep the helicopter flying level. Now I'm going to just stop the charging for a second because I would like to test it out and see how responsive it is. I'm assuming that I'm going to turn on this one and then the transmitter so the light is blinking the red light and usually you bring it all the way up and all the way back down and as you see the light stopped blinking so now it is active and let's try out that button if it does anything yes it, it controls the lights do you see so if you want to spare some battery, I don't know how much battery these little lights will get, but if you want to save some more battery power for the flight, you can turn them off. And again, this is the little trim wheel for the rotation. The red light on the charger turned off, so the battery is fully charged and the little helicopter is ready for its maiden flight. Let's see if it's going to fly okay. With these two challenge helicopters, you have to increase the throttle pretty quickly so that it flies off the ground effect quickly and it doesn't get destabilized by its own prop wash. Let's see if I'll be able to do that. Okay, so what you have seen is it lost connection, the signal. Um, I'm assuming that I may have to hold the, this controller. I'm just going to go on my knees <laughs> because it needs to see, it needs to have a line of sight. And I think it just blocked its own light over here. So I'm going to also turn it towards the helicopter a little bit like this. Let's try again. Okay, it's flying. All right, so if you cut down the throttle quickly, it comes down pretty quickly, so it doesn't have altitude hold like some of the other trainer three-channel helicopters. So you have to be very gentle with the throttle, and there is not much throw on this one, so you have to be extra sensitive with your left thumb. And again, it lost connection, so I, I didn't pull down the throttle, it just lost connection. So I have to remind myself to always hold the controller towards it, like this. And again, there was a slight gap and it lost connection. So I have, I have an incandescent light, it may be generating some infrared light 
And I'm going to turn it off. It's going to be a little darker here. But I just want to try it out like this and see if it makes a difference. The, all the other lights are LED lights, so they should not be generating much, if any, infrared. Okay, I gave a left turn and it, it again lost the connection. I'm not sure if it's not trimmed well or if it is. Or if it's causing a disconnect, a short, I'm not sure what's going on. So I'm turning, making left turns, as you see, kind of on off. Doesn't matter how gently you're turning. And I'm doing, okay, left turns now, they're a little slower. Let's see, yeah, I need to trim it a little bit because it's Tending to turn. Yeah, that keeps. Oh. <laughs> it keeps uh, losing connection. That's one thing I hate about infrared transmitters. But I have seen much better ones than this one. Even for twenty dollars, a three-channel one. You know, that doesn't lose uh, signal this this easily. So as you can tell. This is going to be difficult to fly for kids unless they have some experience flying RC helicopters. The first time it's going to go all over the place. But once you get a hang of it, as long as you are holding the controller towards it and it's a low height, it's yeah, it still has a tendency to turn a little to the left. As you see, it's always flying forward. This is how the two channel helicopters work. I'm, I'm going to try to bring it a little closer to the camera so you can see. Unfortunately, I cannot hover it because it's always going forward. Yeah, it's flying nice right now. Still a little uh, right trim needed. Oh, 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 no. And what it loses and then restarts the throttle like that, it gets out of balance. It starts undulating and doesn't recover. That little fly bar does not bring it back to level, so. Yeah, it is uh, hard to control as you can tell. I'm, I don't consider myself even an intermediate, I'm expert beginner in helicopters, but I shouldn't have this much trouble flying it because I have been flying helicopters for a while now, especially the coaxials, I shouldn't have a problem with two channel helicopter, if it's a good one. And when it takes off, when it takes off, it goes forward very quickly. I think they, they wanted to give some forward speed to it and in this case I can just add a little slight weight to the, to the back to fly a little slower but it's also going to decrease stability. So it starts, when you take off, start turning right away so it doesn't gain too much speed forward. And you are more modulating the throttle because it doesn't have altitude hold. Once up in the air and once it's stable, it's quite good as long as you don't get too close to furniture. Yeah, it's still, if I let go, it's still going a little uh, to the left. So every time I, I let go and then touch the trim, by the way, it's all the way to the right, the trim is all the way to the right. It is matte, so it doesn't trim anymore. So this is the way it's going to fly. At least we know that it is quite hardy because so far, it's, I don't know, maybe 10 crashes. I'm, I'm tired of getting down. So I'm going to stand up and then try to control from this altitude, this height, and let's see if it's going to 
cut off again. It definitely turns left quicker than right. Right turns are slightly, maybe that's my imagination, I'm not sure. And you can turn off the light with that. Oh, I turn off the light and <laughs> it fell out of the sky. Every time I leave one of the stick, let go of one of the sticks, it does that. I don't know what's going on. Let's put the light back on. Okay, here we go. I cannot even see the controller signal down there. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, as you can tell, I'm getting a little frustrated with it. Although it's very cute, uh, it doesn't fly well that, that well. Once you have it up in the air and flying at a certain altitude so it sees the signal easily, it's okay. But you know, taking off and putting it on track, it gets a little difficult. Okay, what I'm going to do now before I deplete the battery is I'm going to put a little bit of weight, maybe a piece of tape, and see if I can make it fly a little uh, slower forward speed. First, let's see how much this weights. 21.72 grams, and I'm just going to add a little bit of this tape now. So I add it as far back as possible. This should be very, very small increase. Let's see if it's, I mean, it's like a fraction of a gram change, 21.78. I don't know if it's going to make a much difference. Maybe I should add another piece of tape just to increase a little more. Here we go, the second piece is there as well. Let's measure it again. 21.8 grams. So there is only less than 1% increase and all that weight is on the back. So let's see if it's going to make any difference in the flight characteristics. All right, it just keeps losing the signal. And that's not good. They should have put the, the sensor in a better location than that. Yeah, it just loses for a split second, falls out of the sky. And uh, some helicopters, they continue, if they lose signal, they continue flying maybe another half second, and then they turn it uh, slowly down, the rotor. This is not one of those. And it's strange, it's happening whenever I give right turn control. So let's try it again. Oh, very frustrating little guy. Cute but very frustrating. Okay, I'm turning left. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I'm going to turn right. Okay, this time it... Oh. Yeah, see, it's something, uh, there is something wrong, maybe a disconnect or bad connection. Here on the right one, it keeps cutting off. So it doesn't happen when I'm turning left. So right now I'm turning left. And it's flying a little slower? Probably not. Maybe I should have added a little more weight. It's flying fine, right? I mean, with the left turns, no issues. So I'm going to start turning right now. Oh, as soon as I turn right, it falls out of the sky. I think this is enough. Let me give a final verdict. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend this, even as a toy helicopter for $18. If it were $10, I will say, or less than $10, ideally. I will say, yeah, go ahead, buy. And there are helicopters that you can buy for $5, from five below. And I reviewed one of those last year, and I'll put the link over here. And it's a two-channel, it's a larger helicopter, it flies probably about the same, so if you want to spend less money, that's fine. The only reason you may want to buy something like this is probably novelty, because it looks very cute, it looks like a fish, maybe a you know, small toddler and child will like it as a 
not flying object but as a toy and I mean it is hardy so it can just fly hit the things it's so lightweight that it's not going to get damaged it's not going to damage anything so in the hands of a little kid it is fine as long as they're having fun but if you would like to spend twenty dollars or eighteen dollars I have a better one for you and it is a three channel and it flies much better and I reviewed it last summer as well I have put the description over here but I'm going to quickly show you what difference it makes to have something that flies better and with three channels this I also purchased from Banggood it was uh, shipped to my door it was about eighteen dollars right now when I checked it is eighteen ninety nine plus another dollar for shipping so you can get this if you are living in the United States for 20 US dollars and it's called Captor on the box and on the website Banggood website is advertised as JJRC SY003 A or B my model is B which doesn't have altitude hold but it is fine the other one the little fish didn't have altitude hold either and let me briefly demonstrate what I mean that it flies better so I'm turning it on I'm going to turn on the transmitter now and to bind it you know up down and it should be bound now and I'm going to take off do you see how much more controllable it is and it is just dead stable maybe it is just rotating to the left a little bit and there are trim buttons for that so a couple presses maybe too many okay now it's straight and and if you want to go forward it goes forward and if you want to come back it, it will come back and it does the rotation well and there's also high speed low speed let me get a little closer because it's so easy to fly this is so much more stable so this is a high high rate so it's turning a little faster it's moving a little quicker as you see and then you can even turn on off the light with this button over here like that and you know even landing is easier because you can you can control it and look look how, how stable it is close to the ground so you know instead of buying this cute little fish over here I'll recommend spend the same about the same money by this one if you are willing to spend a little more you know 25 30 dollars then I will uh, recommend another one which is four channel coaxial and it controls kind of simulates what you will get in a hobby grade controller so you know right hand left hand forward backward and on the left stick you will have the throttle as well as the yaw the rotation on these three channels what I don't like is the yaw or the rotation is on the right stick so it teaches you bad habits if you are planning to go up to four channel proper four channel helicopters and I'll put the link over here it's called LC02 and I got that mine for $25 so spend a little bit more money if you would like to try out helicopters try it out with something good so you are happy with your experience and stay in the hobby and then just buy your next second third helicopters alright folks thank you very much for watching as I mentioned maybe a toy for the kids if you can find it on sale for 10 bucks sure but otherwise in terms of flight characteristics I do not recommend it it's a novelty if you just want to put it on the shelf to look oh, how, how beautiful it is yeah go ahead and buy it if you want to really fly something indoors you know at least buy this one the three channel well thank you very much for watching I hope this review was useful to you don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you are not a subscriber to our channel please consider subscribing and have a great day see you on the next video take care bye bye